guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm gonna make sotang hongisado. So this is another quick and easy recipe guys, yet it is super delicious and easy to make. So these are all the ingredients that we're gonna use for this recipe. We have garlic, onion, red bell pepper, celery, carrots, green beans, and I'm using beef meat. I just chop it into small stripes. And then we have ground black pepper, beef bouillon, salt, oil, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and water. So that's all the ingredients that we're gonna use for this recipe. And this is our noodles, sotanghon or vermicelli noodles. So there you go guys, that's all the ingredients that we're gonna use for this recipe. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna soak the noodles first so we're gonna soak it into the water this is optional guys you don't have to soak your noodles if you don't want to this is the secret how to cook picker guys you have to soak it for maybe about 20 minutes or 15 minutes or you can soak it while you are cooking your meat and the vegetables so there you go now i'm gonna fill the bowl up with water so let's fill this up and then we will soak the noodles I'm just gonna turn it this way and then push it down. We're gonna make sure that the noodles is covered with water. At this point, we will set it aside and then we will proceed to the cooking process. Now, I'm gonna turn the heat on into medium-high heat and then when the pan is hot, we will put the olive oil or you can use the regular oil. I'm gonna use a good amount of oil, guys. So, there you go. The oil is hot. Now, I'm gonna put the beef. So we're gonna slightly cook the meat first before we saute the vegetables. So there you go. Look at my meat guys. It, it looks really fresh. Yeah, I just boiled it today. So now I'm gonna give it a good stir. So you're gonna make sure guys, if you are using beef, you have to make sure you're gonna cut it into small pieces just like this. That way it will be cooked quicker. We stir it really good now. At this point, we will put the lid on and we will simmer it for about 3 minutes. Let's get back into it after 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, here it is guys. Now I'm gonna give it a good stir. It's a bit a little bit watery, so we're gonna let the water evaporate first before we saute the garlic and onion. There you go guys, there is no more water in it. I can see the oil, so now I'm just gonna give it a good stir and then after we stir it really good, we're gonna saute the onion. I'm just gonna put it on the side. I'm not taking it off, that's fine. We just have to push it on the side. And then we will saute our onion. I always saute the onion first, guys, because it, it's more juicy than the garlic. Okay, at this point, we're gonna give it a good stir and then we will cook the onion for about 30 seconds. Let's just give it a good stir and then we will cook it for about 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds, we're gonna give it a good stir again and then push it on the side and then there you go, let's push on the side. At this point, we're gonna saute the garlic. So there you go. Now we're gonna, we're just gonna saute the garlic for about 15 seconds. I'm just gonna give it a good stir. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious, guys. Let's give it a good stir and then we will cook it for about 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, now I'm gonna give it a good stir together with the meat. So let's stir it up together. Wow, it smells so delicious, guys. There you go, we stir it really good. At this point, we will put our vegetables. I'm gonna put the carrots first and the green beans. So there you go. At this point, we're gonna give it a good stir again. So we're just gonna keep mixing it, guys. Cooking is all about mixing. So there you go. Let's mix it really good. So Tanghun is one of my favorite models, guys. This is gonna be so delicious. There you go, guys. We mixed it really good. At this point, we will season it. I'm gonna season it with salt. So about one, one teaspoon and then we will put the beef bouillon, about one spoon. There you go. And then we will put the ground black pepper. 
also about one teaspoon also i love ground black pepper guys and then we will give it a good stir so let's give it a good stir until all the ingredients is well combined wow this is smells so delicious guys you can even eat it just like this so there you go at this point we will add the water so let's add the water i'm gonna even the water on our meat and then we will give it a good stir let's give it a good stir let's keep stirring it guys so there you go we stir it really good at this point we will put the soy sauce about four spoon of soy sauce okay that's perfect and then we will put the oyster sauce so let's put our oyster sauce about four spoon of oyster sauce that's perfect and then we will give it a good stare again oh my gosh let's just keep staring this this is a smell so good guys it smells so delicious already so there you go after we stir it really good we will put the lid on and we will simmer it for about 10 minutes so let's get back into it after 10 minutes after 10 minutes here it is guys at this point i'm gonna add the celery so let's put the celery and then we will give it a good stir i love celery guys it smells so delicious and it is very healthy so there you go we mixed it really good at this point we will taste it so i'm gonna taste it first I'm not adding any more seasonings. Alright, it tastes perfect now, guys. Now we're gonna add the sotanghon or the vermicelli noodles. Oh, I wish I cut the noodles, guys. It's so long. Oh, it's too late now. So at this point, we're gonna give it a good stir so let's give it a good mix guys this is gonna be a little hard because my pan is a little small so i'm just gonna try my best all right let's give it a good stir oh my gosh this is a smell so delicious guys and oh i didn't have cabbage guys so i didn't put any cabbage i'm out of cabbage so that's all the vegetables that i'm using it should be nice if I have cabbage, but I don't. So that's okay. Alright, so here we go. Let's give it a good stare. It's a little hard because I didn't cut it. I forget to cut it. I should cut it. So it's easier to mix. But it's fine. We are gonna be fine. Wow, this is, smells so delicious, guys. Alright, so there you go. We mixed it really good. At this point, I'm gonna put the lid on and we will simmer it for about 3 minutes. So, let's get back into it after 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, here it is, guys. At this point, I'm gonna put the red bell pepper and then we will give it a good stir again. So, here it is. Let's just give it a good stir and then we are almost done guys oh wow this is a smell so delicious i'm already i'm already starving guys i'm telling you i'm excited for this food there you go guys we mixed it really good at this point i gonna simmer it for another one minute let's get back into it after one minute after one minute this is it guys wow it smells so delicious I can smell all the ingredients that we put in it, the red bell pepper, the celery, everything. It's just perfect. It smells so delicious. So at this point, we're gonna give it a good stir and we're done. There we go, guys. We stir it really good. At this point, we're gonna taste it. So I'm gonna taste it first before we turn off the heat. There we go. This is our first bite, guys. Cheers. Okay, it tastes perfect. Now I'm gonna turn the heat off and take my time ready to serve. <laughs> Since 
it's valentine's day guys i'm using heart shape plate happy valentine's everyone here we go guys this is our finished product of our sotanghon guisado look how delicious it is guys look how beautiful it is i love the color now we're gonna do the taste test this is my favorite part here we go guys this is our first bite cheers wow it tastes so delicious guys it's just melt in my mouth it's so yummy you should try this recipe guys for sure you're gonna love it for sure your loved ones gonna love it you can make this in any occasion or anytime you want to eat it okay guys i'm gonna end this video now thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell button so you will be notified every time i have a new upload thank you so much i really appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart bye for now and see you in the next one Bye.